Hey guys, so today we're gonna go try to catch some stock trout. And before we do that, I'm going to show you how to set up a power bait rig. And the first thing you need is you need this, um, it's a sliding bullet weight. This is a 3 8 ounce size sinker. And you're gonna need a small bead. And for the hooks, I'm using an owner size eight octopus hooks. Now these are, these hooks are pretty thin wire. So they penetrate the trout's mouth pretty easily. And they work really good. They are just really, really sharp. And for the fishing leader line, I'm using P-Line fluorocarbon. This is six pound test. You're also going to need a swivel. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the weight onto our main line. Um, I'm, I'm using braid right here just so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this weight onto the main line. Okay, I'm using braid right here just so it's easier to see. And we're just gonna put the main line right through that hole in the sinker, just like that, okay? We're gonna slide it on. Okay, there it is right there. And the second thing we're gonna do, and then we're gonna put the bead on the main line and we're gonna put it right through that hole right there. And then there you have it, you have your uh, weight and then you have your bead. Now we're gonna tie on the swivel, okay? And the main line goes right through the eye of the swivel like that. And to tie the swivel, it's pretty easy. You can use any knot you want. I always use a uni knot and I find a uni knot to be very easy to tie and it's just super strong. But again, like you can use any knot you want. And to tie on the uni knot, it's pretty simple. You uh, thread it through and then you double it up and then you just kind of go like that, okay? And then you are just gonna wrap the tag in through that loop that you made several times. I go about five, six times, okay? Good enough right there, okay? And then you wanna tighten that up. Tighten that up just like that, okay? And then just slide it back. Okay, just like that, okay? So that's a uni knot. It's, I suggest you guys learn it. It's just a really, really good knot. And then you just wanna clip your tag in. When you clip your, your tag in, don't do it too short. Make sure you leave um, a little bit hanging like that. So that way um, you can compensate for any line slip. Okay, so there we go. We have our weight and then we have our bead and then we got our swivel. And then you take your uh, leader line and then you're gonna tie um, maybe about 13 to 14 inches of leader line onto your swivel. Um, to start off, you wanna um, cut off about 20 inches so that way um, you can, you know, when, when you tie, after you tie the line and you cut off the uh, tag in, it'll be around 14 to 16 inches. Okay, so now you wanna tie one end of your leader line to the swivel. And once again, I'm gonna use a uni knot. Okay, you're gonna cinch that up, just like that. Um, and then you wanna pull it all the way to the swivel. Tighten, tighten that up, okay, there it is. Sorry, it's kinda hard to see. So there is your uni knot for your leader line and you have your tag in, so you wanna clip that off. Again, don't clip off too much. Um, leave a little bit hanging just like that, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna take the number eight hooks and tie that onto the leader. Okay, so I'm gonna thread that. Sorry if you can't see this, it's very, very small. This line is very, very small, very light. Um, but anyways, we're gonna put that line, the leader line right through the hook eye. And then uh, once again, I'm gonna tie the uni knot. Okay, as you can tell, I really like the uni knot. It's just really simple to tie and it's very, very uh, strong knot. Okay, so there it is right there. I'm gonna Tighten that up a little bit, just like that. And then again, snip off the tag end, and then cinch it down, make sure it's nice and tight, all right? So there is your uh, hook, okay, tied with a uni knot. Okay, there it is. Uh, there is my rig right there. This is the Carolina rig. Um, it's a really, really easy rig to tie. Uh, it's very effective and you can fish power bait with it. Okay, you have your weight right there and then your bead and then your swivel 
and then your leader line, and then there is your hook right there, uh, size number eight, okay? So let me show you how to put on the power bait onto the hook. Now, when it comes to power bait fishing, you have so many options. Um, if you go to Walmart, they have you know, like a billion different size, colors, and shapes, and um, these are the uh, power bait um, power eggs. And these power bait, they most of them they float off the ground, and so that way they're in the strike zone, and the fish can easily get at them. Um, again, these are the power eggs, and these are the dough. Uh, dough bait. Um, this is rainbow, and that's a uh, lemon lime. I think that's let's see. That's yeah, lemon lime, uh, green color, and then I also have here uh, power bait honey worms. These work really well. They just imitate like little maggots. And usually, how I fish this power bait is I usually tip it. Um, whether I'm fishing a lure, a rooster tail, or whatever, um, I like to tip it with a power bait honey worms. And then you have your uh, power bait mice, sorry, not mice tail. These are the trout worms. They are three inches and they come in like one long strand. And all you gotta do is just like cut them up into three inch um, sections and you put, the, put them onto the hook. These are very effective as well. And this one is called a power bait mice tail. As you can see, this one's used and I've, I've used this many, many times. Believe it or not, even old mice tails work really well. Uh, I've used this uh, several times, uh, different trips, and it still gives off a lot of scent and they still catch trout. So the mice tails, they do float and they work really, really good. And to put the power bait onto the hook, it's pretty simple. I start with the top, I go right through the head and just slide it onto the hook over the shank, just like that. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that hook is exposed a little bit. So that way you can get a good strike when the fish take it, okay? So just like that, you see how that hook is exposed? And that's what you want right there. So that's about it. And what I do is to get even more bites. Um, another trick is to add scent. I use Procure. Uh, gels, they work really well. It doesn't matter we're using whether it's like uh, garlic scent or or uh, shrimp, um, anise, it doesn't matter. You can use any scent from P Procure and that's going to increase your bite by quite a bit. Okay, so there is the power bait rig right there. Very good rig to use uh, for bank fishing. And um, what happens when you use this rig, when you cast it out, this, the weight's going to sink to the bottom and the power bait's going to float off the bottom. Okay, so that's how it works. When the fish take the power bait, when they bite it, um, you're, you, it the line's going to slide through the weight. So, and then you feel a tug. Okay, that's how you fish it. It's pretty easy, very simple. All right, let's get to the lake and catch some trout. Hey folks, PK here. So today I'm trout fishing and I got my friend Ralph with me. And we're right here, we're just gonna fish off the dam and uh, we're gonna be using power bait. And Ralph's got some night crawlers. I'm curious today, I'm gonna try to uh, fish one rod with night crawler and one rod with power bait and just kind of see which one works better. Okay, so let's not waste time and let's get started. These little guys right here. And I think I'll use the whole thing. Several hooks here. All right, there we go. There's a night crawler set up. And I got a 3 8 ounce weight on there. So this is just a Carolina rig. Let's give it a, give it a shot. How you doing, Nick? Anything yet? Nope, no bite yet. Fish just rolled. When we were here in the boat, we trolled back and forth across here. We got nothing. We really? There were some people on the other end. We saw pull up two. On the other side? On the other side, there was one guy over here that we didn't see do anything, but... Okay. I don't know. Hey, Ralph. What? We can go to the other side. I got this just in case I get a big one, because I lost a big one last time. Couldn't pull it up and broke my line. All right. So... Yeah, I didn't think you can keep Chinook. 
okay they're like highly regulated you used to be able to keep them in here it was just part of your five yeah chart limit one over 20. yeah the one he caught was about it maybe eh, i'll say about 15 16. yeah okay night crawler do your stuff there you go get me a fish Got him, got him. First fish, mice tail. Feels good. Oh yeah. Is that, wow. There he is, right there. I'm gonna tire him out first. Cause I don't want him to flop around while I'm hoisting him up. They tend to break right off if I do that. So let's tire him out. He fights pretty good for a trout. Just one. You know, I don't think he's a trout. I think he might be a baby Chinook. He fights really good. He's got a lot of energy left. Looks like a kokanee. Okay. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Get tired out. Oh, no. I should have used that net. Crap. I think that was a kokanee, Ralph. Nice. He's a trout. Yep, little pellet head. Tiny drag. Nice trout. Was that on the power bait? Yep. Nice. You want to use a net? Um, sure. I think just to be safe, huh? Yeah, that fish better grab the rope. So the trick is just trying to. So this is the first time, okay? I don't know how well it's gonna work. Careful, careful. He he has a good chance of coming off. At it. This is harder than it looks. Yes! Nice! <laughs> oh man. Oh. Good job, Ralph. Power bait. Oh, that's a big one. Good size. He's about easy 14, man. That's a nice one. Very really good fish. Let's let's go ahead and whack him. Cause he's gonna thrash around. Yeah. That is a nice stalker, man. Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, it's all yours. Holy moly. <laughs> 18. Nice. 18. Look at that, 18 inches. Good job. Got him. Got him right there. Second one. First one I lost. What are you? Trout. This one's a trout. Okay, I can bring him up. Little guy though. Tiny little guy. Oh, actually not bad at all. He's about 12. Easy 12. Boy, they they took it down right to the gullet again. All right, let's whack this guy. Oh, wow, his eyes are bulging out. Yeah, no, I saw. What's up with that? Beautiful looking trout, man. See how big he is. 14 and 3 quarter. Not bad. Good sized trout. Little guy? Yeah. Nice. That's a trout. Get the hook out here. Little guy. Little guy, but yeah. we'll take it. You want a picture or not? Uh, nah, nah, I'm just, 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 okay. Is that on the power bait again? 
So on the power yeah, bait? It's that same. They like that. That multi power one. Yeah, the nugget. <laughs> that, it's that rainbow trout nugget. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have that red one on this one. But... No luck on the red, huh? Uh, well, it's only been on the water for a couple of minutes. Okay. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Got him, Nick. Good size. Oh no. All right, he'll, maybe he'll, there it is, pull up, pull up, there you go. There you go, you got it. You want to use a net or not? You got it? Okay. Very nice, very nice. Sweet. Good Boy, size. Sucked it down too. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, night crawler? Yeah. Right on. Let me check this rod. Kind of quiet on this rod. What's going on? Is that your mouse tail? No, this is the uh, the one here. The power the power bait doe, orange. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, Ralph. Wasn't paying attention. I was messing with my other line. This one is on the mice tail again. Oh, little guy. Small one. Tell he's small because I'm just bringing him right up. Oh, it's actually he's good size. Just see, it's bigger than the. So, yeah, good size. Just so deceiving, you know, against the backdrop of the water. It is, it's a little deceiving. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me whack this guy. Got a bite. I think I, I, think I did, but I screwed up when I... Oh, it's alright. Like... Let's check it. I think it's caught on something. I'm glad to see they're nibbling at this. Oh no, a bait came off. Pretty hot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What? Took everything. Oh wow, okay. What? Dude, your rod went up against the fence. Uh, really? How does a stock trout break an eight pound test line? Yeah. All right, folks, so I had my line break off. Uh, Ralph said he saw my rod just went BAM and then that knot broke and I should have changed a knot when I caught that last fish when I hoisted up he was kind of fighting and wiggling around and that weakened my knot got all tied back up and then we'll get back out there now the same one um, mice tail this one is orange with a red head okay I got a little garlic scent on there anything that's gonna help you get more bites <laughs> I think they cleaned yet. <laughs> I have a treble hook if you want to use it. There's a hit. Come on. Stay on. Got him. Got him. Little guy. Little guy. Little guy. There we go. Okay, little guy. This one is on the power bait though. It doesn't really seem to matter what you throw at them. They just hammer it no matter what. Oh, he's coming up slowly, so. Okay. There we go. Not a little guy. Yeah, not bad. 12 inches. Right there. Okay, let's whack him and measure him. Good size right there. Okay, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Took it right down to the gullet. And that's okay because uh, 
we're keeping this fish so oh i broke my line dang it gave me back my hook there we go i got my hook back nice looking trout not bad 14 inches nick you had one on had one on and oh can't seem to connect yeah lots of bites though yep okay man 14 inches not bad at all ralph is on oh yeah it's a good size want to use a net or not okay. yeah that's what i'm thinking okay you do i don't want to lose your fish do it gently he's a good one i bet you he'll be at least 12. Nice fish. Nice. That's a big one. Yeah. Is yep. that because I'm using an eight? Nope. Oh, uh, I, I broke your leader. Oh. Wait. Where's the hook? Did he? It's deep in there. Here it is. Well, it's probably good. Oh, okay, cool. That's probably good that um, I replaced that leader. Okay. Let's see how big he is. Wow, man, these are really quality fish. He's 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Nice. So that's number three, huh? Yeah. Nice. Number four, Ralph. Get in. Another good one, man. <laughs> oh, I got a bite. I got a bite. I got a bite, too. We'll pacify him. We'll pacify him. Oh, he took it deep again, which is good because you don't want to lose him. Got it out this time. But looks like you gotta yeah. cut your line. Oh, 14 and 3 quarter. Very nice. Wow. Number four, huh, Ralph? Yep. Very nice, dude. It's that rainbow one, Nick. Rainbow dough, man. Convert everything to power bait, because that's what they're after. All right, guys, just give you a good look at the uh, Detroit Dam. Pretty beautiful, beautiful country. There was a big fire here last year, and you can see some of the dead trees that the fire caused. Looks like down in this cavern that's just how beautiful that is there's a dam there's a spillway but just so far update been kind of slow for me I got three so far it is 7 39 a.m. Sun it's just coming up over that mountain range right over there got a little bit of breeze going on up here not too bad and this rod is kind of been kind of quiet well actually it's been a quiet morning for me at least i got the power bait dough on this one there's that sun nick what are you using you got power bait on both of them i do i just put uh, Captain America on this one. Yeah. Try something a little different. This okay. one's got rainbow. Rainbow. And they're both dough? Both dough. Yeah. You've been getting bites too. I'm getting a lot of bites. I just can't hook them. Yeah. But at least getting some action. Still early. Now that the sun's out, we'll see. Yeah. Boy, that sun is going to warm things up a little bit. That's really nice. Oh, got him. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Man, that was a good hit. Shoot, how did I miss that? 
That was a pretty ugly hook set. Get him this time. Got him. Got him. There we go. There we go. Finally. Wow, that was a long lull. Come on, buddy. Be what you are. Come on. Feels good. Feels much heavier than the last one. The last one. Small. Actually, not small. He was about 12 inches, I think. But this one feels much better. He is. Yep. There he is. And there it is. We'll tire him out a little bit. I don't want them to wiggle around when they come up because that's when they break off. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Gotta go fast. Oh, no. Dang. That would have been number four. Dang it. I should have used a net. Dang it. Well, that's how it is. You. Yeah, plenty more out there. All right, Nick is on. He'll do. He will do. I don't even know if he's legal. Yeah, he's legal. I think it's eight inches. I think that's eight inches? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's nine. Do you let him, let him go off of the dam here? Yeah. You don't want to keep him? It's too small? I think I'd like to get a bigger one like the other one. Okay. I you think I can let him go though? Oh yeah, he's he's he would uh, you remove the hook pretty quick. He should be all right. Yeah, he's gone. One on the too. Yeah. Why you're up. Finally, you're folks. Right here, right on the that was a long, long time. Uh, Little guy, smallest of the day. But you know what? Fish number four. That was on the green power bait. He took it down to the gullet, which is good because we're going to keep them. All right, folks, we are out of here. Caught, I got my limit. Ralph, short one. But you got some pretty big ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that first one is my biggest. Yeah, I like He extended the whole. Uh, <laughs> measuring board length so he's about 18 inches that's a big trout nick got some too so none of us are skunk that's great always nice to have that kind of trip but it is about 10 30 we're gonna get on out of here thanks for coming ralph oh no thanks for bringing me yeah i've never well. done something like this you know yeah it's pretty so. awesome yeah. Beautiful scenery. And then when that sun hit that, that uh, you know, right over there, that was, yeah. was, you know, we could not have asked for better, uh, you know, clear skies for for this morning, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it was great day. Great day. Weather-wise, great day. Look at it. Look at that scenery, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? One last time, overlooking the dam. There it is, look at that. Gorgeous. All right. So, had a fun trip. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have fun fishing. See you next time, tight lines.